Okay, hello, I'm Ruth Kenner and my quilt studio is now called Get Quilts Done. I actually changed the name. The reason I changed the name and I took a longer break is I had to rethink what I was trying to do here and not only teach people a few methods and talk about getting uh, art quilts done, I wanted to uh, really challenge the problem, things that hold us back, why we don't get things done. And we plan things and then we end up looking at uh, things either online or reading a book or finding out about like what I do is I find out about all the news in the world and become an expert on it before I get going. So what are the things that push us out of reaching our goals? And uh, so I want to talk about that. And I'm going to start today with the review of the chair. And the reason is, is this started a few years ago. I actually got the chair as part of a package uh, for my birthday with the sewing machine in November. <clears throat> but the, the problems that aroused around the chair started years ago. And I started noticing that uh, I wasn't feeling good. I couldn't uh, get work done. Even in my other sewing machine, I just couldn't get things done. And my arms were sore or my legs were sore. Something was always going on. So I took a journal and I started researching it more. And I found out that I had paid attention to a lot of notions and fabric and what kind of sewing machine I wanted and how getting things done, but I really didn't pay enough attention to the chair. So hence I solved the problem and that's what I'm going to share with you today. This is the Bernina chair. This is what really solved the problem. I started solving the problem before and I'll explain how I did it, but the chair was really, was really the push up and uh, what were the issues. Now, this is the Bernina chair. It is made by Horn, and it's just like any regular office chair. It turns around, it's on wheels, uh, and of course it's red as Bernina, that's different, but there's other things that really differentiate between this chair and another chair. And so let's get going with what there are, what there is in this chair. I showed you how it turns around, it's a regular office chair, um, Bernina uh, doesn't offer arms to the chair. You know how some office chairs or most office chairs have arms. The arms on a, any office chair, when I would use it in the past, would get caught up with the fabric or hit my arms, they'd get sore. I'd always end up taking them off. Really good that this one just doesn't come with it. Who needs it, okay? So if I sit down just right away, you can see there's a bounce. That's basically in uh, any, uh, any chair. This has got a really good bounce to it. Now, why is the bounce important? Because when you sit down or when you move, you don't want to start off right every time you move or every time you sit up, start doing something new and get a knock on your spine because that's what's happening. You want to ease that, okay? So you want to feel comfortable and not hurt yourself without even knowing it. If you just get enough knocks, you will get sore. All right, so that uh, really made a difference. The other thing that, and this was a really big deal, the first lever uh, adjusts height. And we know how office chairs work. You have to get up and it goes up. But this one has a, is higher than the actual, uh, it's actually higher than most chairs. And this solved a problem. So in my, with my other chair, I ended up using a pillow on top of it in order to solve the problem, but I got rid of a lot of the bounce that I like to have. But it worked for a while and it solved the problem because the height has two issues and we know this. So as uh, when we're at, let's say at a computer or we're writing, we need table height. But when we're with a sewing machine, we're higher, unless it's in a well. And I don't have my sewing machine in a well. I might eventually, I've always had an acrylic table and I haven't decided what I'm gonna do. But we know if I was just to adjust here, this is the right height, right there. So I solved the problem with my shoulders and I was working away. Now I had a new problem and that was my legs. All right, so what happens with our legs? Our legs need to be so, a, and uh, this is something that I bought that I use in my office. You can see, and I could put a link to it downstairs it's very inexpensive and it's from Amazon and I use this and what does it do you see the space here that means that I'm not cutting off the circulation on my legs so I saw how did I solve the problem 
when um, it, with height though, what do I do? I hacked something and I put it under. Now, my uh, what I do is this is a box, an Amazon box that I filled with books. You could fill it with something else and two shelves. And as I go up or down, I actually have to remove it. Eventually, I'm going to buy a stool that goes up and down that doesn't go up and down like this so I can use it with my uh, uh, studio uh, here and not only in my office. Uh, and that that will come but if you see right now if I have on the highest right now you can see that my legs are just not touching this I mean they could be touching it but they're not leaning on it there's no pressure on it and why is that important I'm not cutting off circulation I actually had a really bad accident when I was a kid so um, that accident caused a lot of uh, a lot of problems for me in the future and it still does and if i cut off the circulation it causes problems but i was actually having cramps on my left side from this my hips were hurting and everything adding this made the difference so i added height now this is a message for everybody who wants to use their sewing machine on their dining room table that's where you're comfortable or you like a high table and you have this chair up go ahead and do it don't disregard your legs get a stool make one hack one do something but don't cause yourself more problems down in the future or while you're working and maybe you'll just get cramps and you won't know why. So solve those problems. That's really important. And this chair gives you the height, so you have to solve something below. And depending on how hot, if you're very tall, I'm five foot four, evidently if you're five foot eight or five foot nine, none of these problems will exist for you. But just say, that's how you solve it. Solve the problem with the height with the chair and then get something else to to work it out but make sure you work it out so then we have the other two levers we have this lever here the middle lever and this was something that doesn't exist in other uh this is something that doesn't exist in other uh chairs it was hard to find in other chairs even other uh quilters chairs and it does a lot of really nice things that i really like and this is the one that helps you lean back and i'm going to talk about them together because this lever didn't work it was stuck and I almost ended up returning the uh, chair. So um, I contacted the dealer, the dealer didn't know what to do, contacted the manufacturer and they sent me back to the dealer, of course. So I could solve it because it wouldn't budge by using oil, but then I thought if that didn't work, then I have a problem because I wouldn't be able to return the, the uh, chair. So after doing a, a lot of searching in the, internet and saw that really there is no solution I kind of figured it out on my own so I moved it down to as low as could be I used the stool and here's the third lever the one for the back so it goes back like this default is up I use it all the time on up that's where I'm comfortable but I moved it all the way to the to the front and then I took this lev this lever where the default position is forward, and I use that when I work, but not when I'm uh, when I'm doing intricate things or big projects, both the same, on my sewing machine. And it really moves forward, and it's really a, a good advantage. It really helps me work, especially when it's on high, but I would have liked it to go back. But it wouldn't move. So um, what did I do? Uh, to get it going. I just sat there like this and made sure this was locked and went backwards and forwards in the beginning it just moved a little and then eventually I got to the point where it was moving and you can see it and it moves and I close it and now it's at regular position what most chairs are at where it's level. I only use it forward when I'm sewing but not when I'm reading and not when I'm uh, drawing and not when I'm doing other things. So I really wanted, I'm really glad that I was able to solve that problem. And now I've already told you about this lever. And this is, like I said, this is the lever that goes like this. My default position is all the way forward. Anybody gets into the car after me, they have to play around with that. I always move everything forward. Uh, that's what's comfortable for me. Uh, so that's really important. So those are the three levers. The other thing that I really like about this is um, this knob here. And this knob on my other machine, uh, on my other chair, excuse me, uh, helped me lean backwards and forwards. But this one makes this go up. Oops. <laughs> I kind of took apart my, took it up too high. 
So what this one does is, of course I'm doing this, is it's really easy to work with on my own and I really like that because I don't always have somebody around or don't want to always ask for help. And you can see I've arranged it that it fits right there in the small of my back. That's really important for me too. So you can see I just lock it up and there you go. And what I really liked about this is when I first a when I first got the machine and we have the our television in the same room as my studio because I like it that way. Um, we had uh, some but some people who were watching TV and somebody wanted to sit in my chair and I got kind of rude and then I felt bad. But now I'm really good at using all the knobs and trying it and working it out. So I don't have to be rude with anybody, <laughs> okay? So I'm really glad about that. It looks like three three levers and a knob, but when I'm done uh, organizing it, it, it from when I start is about two minutes. That's all it is. So it's a really good chair. I'm really happy with it. I've solved all the problems uh, that I had with it at the beginning. I know how to use it. And I found a good ha some good hacks to help me with the problem to elevate my feet. So I would really recommend this and I have felt so much better and I could sew for so much longer. I could hand sew for so much longer and I probably will get one for my office, another one for my office because it's made such a big difference in my life. And uh, you know, it's not, it's, I, I didn't pay enough attention to chairs and I wish I had. And this is the Bernina chair. I'm really happy with it and it's helped me to get lots of things done. So I hope that was a big help to all of you and uh, signing off and uh, hope to see, hope to have another video coming soon with other reviews and other things. Okay. So if you like it, don't forget to like it, become a subscriber and share it. To share it with other people who are having problems and having cramps with their legs, of course, because we want to help each other out. So we all get each other. We all have each other's backs, so to speak. All right. Bye.